This is the lecture about Rijeka, about architecture, about the world, about the European capital of culture. Hello people, welcome back to my channel, David Sandreza, and you are all welcome. Guess what? Last week I had a chance to visit Croatia. This country is awesome. There are so many ruins to explore. So we are in the top of this. The others. Oh, so scary. History to be discovered. This is not in Italy, guys. This is in Bulan, Russia. And of course, the sea and nature. I am here with other architecture students from European Architecture Students Assembly or EASA. So, this is Russia Vlog Series. Take your seat and enjoy. Basla. about Rijeka, about architecture, about the world, about the European capital of culture. I mean this Turato. I'm they plan to make a first public space in Rijeka. You can see the bridge, but this is not the bridge, it's a square. You can see the opening of the, this square uh, 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 bridge, the ceremony of the opening and gathering of the citizens from Italian and Yugoslav part. This kind of infrastructure for the political uh, 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 exhibition is crucially important to understand and to think about architecture as a, some kind of theater for the power, political power. Second important project, we are now here. This is the, the theater. It's a project of architect Turina and Kuchen. Kuchen was a citizen of Rijeka and they practically built in the, in the Delta region swimming pool with hotels and the park. It was so progressively You were talking about how museums, how you want to avoid like industrial buildings being turned into kind of temples or ruined and porn. Um, but how does that work with the European capital of culture? How can you use it so that you don't turn these things into like lots of museums or just make a positive impact that will last in the city? The architects that they use a culture as a platform for building museums and these uh, 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 things. I think we must reinvent and use all of this facility in a totally different way. For this reason, I think that this opportunity that you live for two weeks in this particular bu bu building is a crucial announcement of how I see this year of capital of culture. Practically, I have the idea that we don't take any artist who don't want to live in this kind of condition. We don't want to any gallerist <laughs> who cannot use and live and work and eat in the same place in the abandoned warehouse. And this kind of ruin porn is, uh, I think, a disease for the architects. But be, uh, because I'm old and I know that even in the 19th century this kind of ruin porn was famous in the ro 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 romanticism part of, of, of architecture where people going back, people think about the past and use the past as a tool for 
the progression. I don't think it's, it's possible. So basically, I think it's very, very de uh, dangerous that we treat this kind of facility as an industrial heritage or monument. These are not the monuments. These are the elements of infrastructure. Capital 220 is just this area. No. What happens to all the parts? Regions? Um, it's troublesome and it's uh, chaotic. But there is an importance over here to get feedback from what people want. That, uh, that Rijeka last 25 uh, years lose the population of my ge generation. I'm the only person who live in the center of Rijeka. I'm the only person who have an office in the abandoned uh, uh, infrastructure. So this is really crucially important that we must explain to the local community that the, some kind of second life is possible even in this kind of condition. For this re reason, I think it's a small step for EASA, it's a small step for the Europe, but huge step for Rijeka. She wants, but maybe she doesn't. In the end, she ends up, end up, ends up going to the shopping center, but... Maybe, maybe somehow you need to explain to these people how to use these places that are abandoned and have such, such a huge potential for something new, something better. I think that today, uh, will it be much more cheaper to, cheaper to make, I don't know, some infrastructural object like school, hospital or something uh, like that in those industrial bays uh, because those places are abandoned or destroyed? problem of the Rijeka is not uh, urbanistic and uh, architectural pro problem. It's a question of le le legacy. It's a question of legal responsibility. Because this part of the Rijeka is not a public space. It's a harbor. We have, we, uh, we took some kind of concession for the four years of uh, uh, authorities of the harbor to have some kind of showcase for the near future. Practically, if you have some kind of advocate, some kind of uh, legal st uh, student of law, maybe it will be very helpful to write something and do something legally uh, than to build some kind of usual pavilion like in Venice Biennale. Hey people, you can hit the subscribe button to get more videos over there And you can catch up with me through my website, blog, podcast and Instagram account over there And see you in the next videos, bye bye